Hello, welcome back to Ark Knights. Today I'm gonna push further into the event rerun where the Vernal where Vernal winds will never blow. I haven't really been playing this that often lately. I just need a break. <laughs> That's just the best way to put it. I need a break. My brain is so fried of Ark Knights content because I've been posting it almost every day the past month. But I'm gonna get back into the rhythm of it. So without further ado, it's gonna do this now. <laughs> Submitting feedback to Neural ne Network. Loading. Anasa. The word means one without roots in an ancient language. My people say that all things are uncertain, except for life and death. Trying to cling on to something only brings trouble. That's why we drifted from one place to another. Living with the barren lands, <clears throat> there's always water and game to be found. And at the end of our lives, we return to dust, return to the earth. But a catastrophe destroyed our camp and most of us lost our lives in the migration. A woman from a nomadic city happened to pass by and guided us to safety. She taught us how to fight, shared knowledge, and told us stories of the cities. She said that everyone should have a place to call home. True. Injured girl. <laughs> Stay down. Oh? Is that Waifu's dad? <laughs> Ancient Sarkov's language. Who are you? Why am I here? I can't understand a word. Not that it matters. You're here to heal your wounds. You'll do exactly as the doc says if you want to see the sun rise again. If the, if the don't... If you don't want to die here, do as I say. In hesitant Yanis, where am I? Who are you? This is an infirmary and you're a patient. I'm a helper at the infirmary. Where's my sword? <laughs> the girl reaches around her in panic, only calming down when she finds the weapon beside her. It's, it's there. Thank goodness. We found you passed out at the door of the infirmary yesterday, but you wouldn't let go of the sword. Did you get hurt fighting over it? Doesn't concern you. No need to look at me like that. I could have taken it while you were passed out if I wanted to. I've seen so many people die over so-called masterwork weapons. Did you really think wielding a weapon like that would make you strong enough to beat enemies you couldn't? I don't trust weapons. The only thing I trust is my fists. A true warrior shouldn't entrust victory to something else. You don't understand. I'm not trying to fight with the sword. I want to repay a debt. The sword is a weapon for killing. My mentor told me the sword means a lot to her. I promised her that I would bring her the sword, or bring it to her grave at least. Has your mentor passed away? Yes. Well, I'm not interested in listening to people talk about their debts and grudges. If you say you fought over the sword to repair the debt, I'll believe it. A woman who's almost died has no need to lie. So it means you see your obligations as being more important than your life. That's not a bad thing. Why did you help me? What's an infirmary for, if not to help people? If I don't have any money, I know that money is required in exchange for kindness in the nomadic cities. That's not wrong, but you can work your debt off as well. Why don't? Why do you think I'm working here for the doc? The difference is uh, that I'm working to pay the medical bills of the people I beat up. I do the heavy lifting at the clinic, so you should learn to do things like drying herbs and wrapping wounds. You don't owe as much as I do. A few months should be enough to pay off your debt. Oh, he's the dude that went into the place and just lifted the cart onto his shoulders instead of like using it like a hand cart. No, I'll find a way to repay your kindness, but I'm in a hurry. I need to get out of the city. You're not going anywhere. I said, stay down. You're here to get your injuries healed. You managed to survive them. Would be a shame if you died now, not to mention an embarrassment to the clinic. But kindness is important too. In, ugh, I'll think about it. Once you're healed up and repaid your debt. Another patient? I'll take a look. Stay down. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> Who bets that it's yeah, that guy? <laughs> what is it? Are you the doctor, sir? The doc's out. I'm a helper here. I can help you if you just want meds, but you'll have to wait if you want the doctor to look at you. Oh, I apologize for the interruption. We are investigating a case and pursuing a suspect. Here's my token. We would appreciate your cooperation in answering a few questions. Ask what you want. I'll decide if I want to answer. Has the clinic treated or seen anyone who suffered serious stab wounds? 
Nope, and nope. Either you're buying, or you find someone else to bother. I would like to take a look. I'll only take a minute. No. Patients and customers only. I have nothing <laughs> but the greatest respect for the clinic's work. I would rather not have to force my way in. But this concerns the safety of all of human. Your cooperation would be appreciated. You got your rules, I got mine. You ain't coming in unless I say so. Then I apologize. Zoli's movements are swift as a foul beast. Swift as a foul beast. But he feels a hand on his collar just as he's about to cross the clinic's threshold, throwing him backwards. The burly man continues to stand there as though he never moved. It's as though the foul beast flew into an invisible and boundless net. This man's no ordinary brute. I said you ain't coming in. You got a death wish, kid? Do you understand the consequences of obstructing justice? Don't understand, don't care. Try that again, I dare you. Enough, this is not a game, huh? There's someone else in there? She broke out the window. Hmm? Where did the girl go? <laughs> what the? Bandages and cotton balls are scattered on the table, and the bed is still warm. The air smells of blood and herbal medicine. You said no heavily wounded patients were taken in lately. How do you explain the gauze and blood? Uh, I told her to stay put. She said she needed to get out of the city. She must be headed to the gates. Oh no. I gotta catch her or the doctor's gonna put her bill on my tab. Stop right there. <laughs> That's funny. Tea leaves, shang shu, rock tea, cow boots, flower tea, jiang ki, white tea, do huang, raw leaves. Anything you want, I've got it here. That was a rough sentence. Two carts of lungman green tea. Uh, excuse me, miss, but we don't sell tea by the cart. M miss? Oh! <laughs> it's her! We meet again. Any updates on what I asked you to look into? We agreed on terms. I, I don't know what you mean. How many caravans in this batch are carrying false permits? How did they get those permits? I need to know more. Uh, I'll pay the taxes I owe. The whole amount. Please, don't ask any more questions. We can talk about your previous offenses another day. Answer my question. H Help! Thief! Yeah. You've got nerve stealing in broad daylight. Grab her! You test my patience. That's not gonna work. Watch out! I saw an accomplice go that way! It's always the peaceful music. Excuse me. The owner is out. You need to, something made? I just have a couple of questions. This is a smithy. The inn's where you go to find gossip. I hear there are more, or some old Jiang Hu Kung Fu stories. Oh. Felt like something was just crawling up my arm. I hear there are some old Jiang Hu Kung Fu stories that only circulate here. Fine, I guess it can't hurt to have someone chat to chat with while I work. Fire away. I really ought to buy something for your trouble. What do you want? Frying pan? Kitchen knife? How about a sword? Sorry, can't do that. Household items only. But the sign on the door says Sword Forge. This is probably the last place in human that still uses the particular wording. It's just a name. The owner would change it to the tea parlor or the guest house if he wanted. Fair enough. You're not from around here, are you, tourist? I've wanted to see the deserts of human for a long time. We get a bunch of tourists every time we link up with Lungman, thanks to the Wuxia Wuxia TV shows. Anyone with half a brain should know that it's all fake. What's so good about this backwater place? Did you want a souvenir sword? Trust me, you're better off getting a pack or two of human jerky. Uh, every place has its own unique scenery. It's always worth a look. Uh, setting aside whether the TV shows are fake or not, I'm sure there's a story behind the smithy. Sure of that, are ya? I don't mean to offend, but every shop I pass by on my way to, from the market was full of people, except this one. Why would a shop with no history or business be on a busy street like this? And I doubt a shop that really has no business 
would have so many furnaces burning and so many iron ingots lying around. This is why I hate talking to smart people. It makes my head hurt. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> All right, what do you want to know? I wanted to ask you about this, about stories of the old, about, let's retry that one. I wanted to ask you about stories from the world of Kung Fu, but you've piqued my interest in something else. How did the Sword Forge become a smithy? Man running for his life can always find an extra burst of speed. Just as he's about to shake his pursuer, a rope appears out of nowhere, tripping him over. He tries to pull himself back up, only to find nothing but quicksand around him. She turns glass into sand as well. Okay. Had enough yet? Bro, you're not escaping. She's a six star. <laughs> Gas for air. Exhausted. <laughs> Good. Now we can talk. What are you afraid of? This, this group is different. I know. They'll have my head if I talk. I have a family. They're counting on me to feed them. Please. I'm glad you remember that you are ha you have family. Let me remind you. They're all in Lungman. You. Miss Lin. I know how you and the Rat King operate. You, you wouldn't. That's up to you. Or do I really need to prove to you what I'm capable of? I. Tell me. What. what tell me what you know. The smugglers that make the rounds from when Lugman and Newman link up are usually pretty consistent. The same groups working with the same forgers. <laughs> same suppliers, same, fe same fences. This time around, though, there's a new group that nobody knows anything about. Not even the oldest crooks. Some tried, some tried to pick a fight and nobody ever saw them again. The new smugglers disappeared? No, the ones who picked the fight. What else do you know? Out with it! I've heard, well, rumors about where they hide and sell their stuff. Well, rumors are rumors. I don't know how helpful that'll be. You took care of things at the market? Oh, shit. Don't hit the space bar. Nothing a, few, <laughs> nothing a few coins couldn't fix. Good. And this man? Take him to the barracks, then back to the LGD after you're done with here in human. I, I told you everything I know. Why? Qu quit complaining. It's for your own safety. Yeah, but if they've ambushed you already, how is he going to make it to the barracks? He just disappeared? The markets of human are not usually so busy. The streets are packed with people, and parents hold their children's hand a little tighter. It's not easy trying to find someone in this crowd. Are you buying or not? Get out of the way if you're not buying. You're in everybody's way. Sorry. The noise of people shouting, arguing, and bartering drowns out deadlier <laughs> sounds. What the... The sword comes from behind, without a sound. Zali takes a step forward, almost by instinct. The point of the sword tears through his clothes, inches from leaving behind a wound that would have crippled him for life. Who's there? Who's there? Zali turns around, but sees only the bustling market. Did he intentionally draw me here? A commotion here would... Where are you? Okay. Ah, found him. Hmm. The market sure is busy today, isn't it? Mr. Lee? Looks like we have some troublemakers in the crowd. Be careful. I noticed. Did you... Just a little optical trick. Won't last long. It's dangerous here. We should leave. No choice, I suppose. Turns out, we're the ones who fell into the trap. Let's get out of here. We don't want civilians getting hurt. That's fair. Oh, time to fight? Yeah, time to fight. <laughs> the good part. Degenbrecker stabbing some bitch. We'll be fine if we stick together. What an interesting layout. What the fuck? Everyone, enemies incoming. Mm hmm I'm listening. I'm listening. Aim. Feels bad to lose your target, doesn't it? Follow me. Mm. I don't like how easy they'll this pay is going. for what they've done. Ah, I see. Okay, how good luck getting past her. Them go Come on, let's pick up the pace. Oh, 
That's annoying. Got it. Come on, let's pick up the pace. Come on, let's pick up the pace. Honestly, the health regen on her yeah. passive is what's gonna kill her off, so that's fine. Okay. So far, so good. Hey. Okay. I probably should have full made her go downward yes. so she could heal Angel just in case something happens to him. Yes. Anyway. Stay calm, my friend. Feels bad to lose your target, doesn't it? Bro, why do I have three tanks? Come on, let's pick up the pace. Jesus, her damage is always so high. <laughs> okay. Ma, look, a fight! What happens all the time. Haggling turns into fighting. Nothing to see. Stay close. I don't know how I'd find you if you got lost here. They don't give up that so easily. Protecting ourselves is one thing, but it'll be hard to avoid harming, harming civilians. Do you have any ideas? There's a way out, but you'll have to you'll have a mess on your hands. Wait. Damn, too late. Uh Excuse me. The, the Shanghai Zong dart through the crowds like fins through water. The fins leap. Wait, what the fuck? Why is it going off screen? Why is it going off screen? Okay, it's weird. The fins leap through, leap from the water on Moss. Zoli and Lee. Zale and Lee. Cannot hope to fend off their attacks without harming the surrounding civilians. Uh oh. Snowfalls. Snowfall? What? Not scattered flakes of snow, but a steady stream of white. Uh oh. The blizzard cuts off the rapid flow, stopping the Shanghai Zong in their tracks. Such a response is more than just talent and training. It is a result of experience accumulated from countless deadly battles. Leave. Don't chase. There are too many people here. These, civil these villains have no qualms about harming innocents. Heavy panning. Go by. It's been a while. It's been a while, but you don't seem to have gotten any better. Why have you come? The Grand Master instructed me to help you. And who is this gentleman? A friend I met on a previous mission. And an old acquaintance of the Ongs. Someone without an official position shouldn't involve himself in this. Even a friend of the Ongs. Ah, huh, well, I just happened to pass by. Anyway, someone always tells me not to meddle whenever <laughs> I'm hired to do something. Guess it's a private eye trope. <laughs> My life would have been in danger if not for your help, but are you really here by chance? Would the Sui Regulator believe me if I said yes? No jokes, please. This is important. I never look for trouble. Trouble just has a tendency to find me. I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it that my client is an acquaintance of Chief Wei of Lungman. You may have already met him at the barracks last night. I guess the ones who attacked you just now were the people who he hired, who we hired to find, hired me to find. What else do you know about what happened in Yuman last night? Not much. The ones who hire private eyes are, aren't are exactly the talkative type. You get used to it. Maybe I could help if you told me more. I stabbed the assassin in the scuffle last night, so I started my search in the clinics. I searched every single clinic in the city and didn't find anything unusual until the last one. A man called himself a helper and wouldn't let me in. I forced my way in and found gauze and blood. The man ran off with an agitated look on his face. Someone has the nerve to <laughs> obstruct the Sui Regulator in Newman? I wasn't sure what to make of it. Obstruction of justice is a crime, but I couldn't make heads or tails of what the man was talking about. It didn't feel premeditated. Could you describe the man in more detail? Let me think. He's a tiger. <laughs> Looks a little bit like Waifu. Feline male. Looks about to be in his 40s. 
exceptionally skilled in Kung Fu. Could it really be him? Yeah, exactly who they're looking for, of course. We should hurry. Yusha wants us to visit the deceased bodyguard's family. I'm coming, I'm coming. This is the last house anyway. Say, I haven't had the chance to ask you, why did you come to Yumin? I told you, I set up my own logistics company. Mr. Zeng told me his daughter came to Yumin too, but I didn't expect to actually meet you. That's just how fate works, I guess. Say, since we've worked together on this case, <clears throat> wouldn't it be natural for you to join Zeng Yu <laughs> logistics afterwards? You're still talking about this? Anyway, it seems like you should... Yasha. Russia. Bomb bomb. Uh, <laughs> you should drag a lot of people she knows into this. I didn't know she was the Rat King's daughter. You know Mr. Lin too? Not really. Dad's heard of him on his travels. I thought you would know each other well, being fellow lung Lungmanites? Lungmanites, yeah, that's what that said. Lungman isn't exactly one of those small towns where everybody knows everybody. I see Mr. Lim from time to time in the course of my work, but I've only heard rumors about Yusha. I'm curious, what do Lungmanites think of the Rat King? The word Lungmanite is way too broad. Some think of him as a benevolent protector, some want as well to do as little to do with him as possible. Others just see him as a kindly old man. <clears throat> only one thing is certain, he's a key to Lungman's peace and security. Sounds like someone not to be trifle, trifled with. Must be hard miss, uh, being Miss Lin. Why do you say that? Fathers always want their children to walk the path they paved for them. Especially accomplished fathers. Do you not get along with Mr. Zung? I wouldn't say that. It's more I like I prefer some distance between us. Some fathers out there don't care about their children at all. Hmm. <laughs> they do as they please, leaving their children for someone else is to care for they disappear for a decade without a word do you mean never mind i don't want to bring him up now the old man went missing for a decade i would take over the association rebuild it in my own image i would show him that i can do better but what if he never comes back to see how well you've done this is the place hello anybody home excuse me where that's really sad Hey, the door's unlocked, and there's nobody in the clinic. Oh my gosh! Ah! Okay. This is the fourth place. The guard who died was the son of the doctor here. The doctor's a local who's been running this clinic for decades. No other members in this household. News of the messenger's death reached the city yesterday afternoon. The doctor should already know. But the room is neat and tidy. Not a speck of dust on the furniture. The two bags in the corner look like items from today's market. I don't know human customs, but it's as though no nothing happened whatsoever. How would a father react to the news of this child is dead? Flashbacks. Certainly wouldn't act like nothing happened, at least. But there's no one home. It's not right for us to barge in. Let's rendezvous with Rusha. It's the clinic where her dad just was, isn't it? That's that's my guess. That is just my guess on the situation now. The what? The warehouse that the smuggler talked about is just ahead. Strange. Do you know this place? I checked out the various depots in the city when I visited last time. This ver this warehouse. <laughs> Why was I gonna say it like that? This warehouse was used by the Southside Sword Forge for storing metals and originium fuel. The Sword Forge is a reputable business operation it shouldn't have anything to do with this yao yao what he played us for fools take it easy we're in no rush he doesn't have the nerve to lie in a situation like that we're already here all we need to do is take a look you keep watch i'll check it out be careful oh there's actually someone there oh lost your way miss isn't this the stonemason's warehouse? I'm here to buy stone. Your boss couldn't sculpt his way out of a shoebox, but the stone's not half bad, so I thought I would buy a bunch. Oh. Girlfriend called. <clears throat> boss couldn't sculpt his way out of a shoebox, but the stone's not half bad, so I thought I would buy a bunch. He gave me permission to come to the warehouse. He says you'll show me around. Song stonemason? think so. The shop at the east end of the market? 
Zong Stonemason's warehouse is on the west side, not the south side. So you can stop right here. Look around you. Nothing but iron and scrap metal. Not a rock to be found. I'm sure you're lost. Damn, I even paid a guy to take me here. That fraud. Sorry for the intrusion. It's fine. Let me see you out. What is he doing? Is he a bad guy in the end? Why is my mustache hair all fucked up? That's the real culprit. The mustache. The clouds part to let the bright sun shine through. Stinging Lin Yusha's skin. Slightly. She subconsciously reaches behind her neck and looks up at the man. What kind of attire would leave a sunburn on the neck like that? What are you looking at? Nothing. Goodbye. <laughs> How did it go? Stay here and keep a close eye out from the nearby movement. Something didn't seem right? Didn't ask questions. Just keep your eyes peeled and report anything unusual. Roger. Oh! We've we finished. a lot of times before, Doctor. Here and now, though, we're struggling for our own destiny, our okay, own future. Okay, shut up. That's the real fight, isn't it? Flame Tail is so extra with their voice lines at the end. Uh, nice. We got some sword forge shit, and I finished another mission, right? Yeah, and I got some more furniture. I'll make it look so pretty. Jayun. I've just been buying the LMD <laughs> and the leveling material because I uh, I've used a lot of it recently. Okay. Then I'll bring my stock of it a little bit back up. Um, I'm gonna save up for the headhunting permits next. Actually, oh. phone's going off again. Okay, I just got a text. That was all. Yeah, I'm gonna save up for that. Um, I'll probably end up getting all of this stuff. Because it's so little, like three. And then three for 25, so that's 75. And that's really easy to do after just one mission. I'll get this last, probably. So I'm not really in a need for any of these four items. Because I have a shit ton of this. I have like a hundred of this. So I'm just farming random stuff. <laughs> um, same with sugar and polychitin. Polychitin. I'll get these. Yeah, I'll do the skill summaries. So I can level up skills easier. Uh, honestly, I might be able to buy everything. I just need to start farming it more. And once I do these, I'll get a lot. So it's not that big of a deal. Oh, it's WB5 is when I get her. Okay. Oh, a new character. Let us out. We've been through this. The general has declared a high alert to ensure human safety. No one is allowed to leave the city without permission. Turn back. You dare speak of human safety to me? We were guarding human long before you were picked up to the stick, kiddo. In times like these, I need you to think of the greater good. The greater good? Do you remember when a group of bandits infiltrated the city and injured innocent people in the process? It happened so suddenly, and the situation was so messy, that you refused to lift a finger. That you... Why? Okay. So we had to take things into our own hands. We chased them hundreds... We chased them hundreds of Lee, and spent three whole days in the desert. We had to carry half our brothers back to the city, but we managed to drag the bandits along with us. Now our brothers are lying dead out there, their bodies still rotting, and you're asking us to wait? Master Jing, we all know your story, and we have infinite respect for you, but General Zhao... General Zhao! <laughs> Zhuo has decreed that while we are, uh, we are hunting a serious criminal, no one is to leave the city without his permission. His awe-inspiring authority has me quaking. Tell that Zhao <laughs> Zhuan Liao. Bah, that was an awful one. To come out here and face us. Impudence. Master Meng? Meng Taiyi. Oh, he was with... He was with the one girl. I don't remember her name now. The one that's with Waifu right now. I heard you shouting it from across the city. These men are only following orders. Why do you have to be so hard on them? Yeah, that's a good point. It's like yell like a Karen yelling at like a fast food worker or something. It's like they're just doing what they're supposed to. Uh, we just can't let them talk to us like this. You're you are venerable elders of our city. You fought many battles to defend human, even messengers through catastrophes. Even messengers through catastrophes. Our stability is thanks to your hard work. Even though the Lord Exorcist and Grandmaster are still present, you dare to flaunt your seniority as if it matters? 
Have you no heart? Good men need to need not remind the people of their past deeds. If you need to boast about it, that just goes to show how little it truly mattered. Go home and make no further trouble. I'll ensure your fallen brothers are spoken for. Yes, master. The blame lies with me. I neglected their discipline. We should never blame you. About those four brothers, you have my condolences. I'll take care of their families. There's no need to bother the Lord Exorcist. But since they died delivering a letter for, for human, I'd like to ask the Lord Exorcist's opinion on the situation. We have to focus on the assassin for now, but when we're done, the Lord Exorcist will absolutely dispatch troops to clear out the bandits. Right. You have to prioritize. That makes sense. I just want a word with the Lord Exorcist. I need a reply. Any kind of reply to answer to those brothers. Once we are done with this, you are all welcome to the Sword Forge for drinks. Oh, he's the owner of the Sword Forge. Okay. Yusha? How's the situation on your end? Have the families of the victims been located? Actually, two of the four were living alone. As for the other two, their families happened to be away from home, so we took it upon ourselves to barge in. It's a bit strange that all their homes looked normal on the inside, though. Could be a coincidence that they all just happened to be out? A whole day has passed since we got the news of their deaths. Who goes there? You scared the life out of me. I just felt like someone was watching us. You could sense that even in this crowd? Let's continue this inside the inn. Ah, that's cool. Lin Yusha, stay your steps. Stay your steps? You know this man? Just give me a moment. I'll have a few words with him. All right. I didn't expect the monitor sensor of the Department of Discipline and Supervision to remember me. I think uh, it's been five years since we last met. The timing of our meeting was a memorable one. But not very pleasant. Just official business, you and I both. Are you also here to investigate the events that have transpired in Yumin, Envoy Lin? Can the monitor sensor offer any leads? No, at this time I'm not intervening in any official in an official capacity. I am merely acting as a former subordinate of the Lord Exorcist and as a subject of Yan to apprehend the villain who disturbed the people's peace. I must say, I'm a little surprised that you aren't advising me to stay out of it, Monitor Sensor Taihi. I have no reason to dissuade you <clears throat> from your duties, Envoy Lin. Do, do forgive me for pro Jesus. Do forgive me for prying, Envoy Lin. You have only just arrived in the city, so how exactly do you plan on in plan to investigate a case when you have not become familiar with the situation. Jesus, okay. I have I have my own means, of course. Don't worry, monitor sensor Taihe. Taihe! I have no doubt of your means will prove more than adequate, Envoy Lin. You might as well make your words clear, monitor sensor he. Monitor sensor. That's such a weird title. As I said, we are in a, on official business and nothing more than that. I merely offer a reminder, Envoy Lin, that enemies lies in the open while we are hidden. But do be careful still. I will take my leave. I've seen that big guy before in Shangshu. I think he was from the Department of Discipline and Supervision? Just how many m mandarins do you know? It's not like we're friends. We just have prior dealings. What's the difference? The difference is that you don't want to be friends with someone you have dealings with. Let's go. Why? <laughs> so he can't take advantage of that relationship? dusk. The sun goes down quickly in early spring, and the weather is still a little cold. The man fills the furnace with a handful of firewood. The weak fire is not fit for forging, or even for heating. These days, all the forge equipment runs on originium, but the old man stubbornly keeps such a useless furnace here. While waiting for the fire to intensify, he picks up a broom and carefully sweeps up the sand that has accumulated in the courtyard overnight, leaving none of the crevices between the rocks the stone bricks untouched. Of course, the old man knows that it will only stay clean for a moment and will soon return to its sandy state, but he still toils to keep to sweep the ground over and over again, as if hoping to catch a glimpse of completely clean forge. 
These legs of mine are still ache from the cold. Even the weather is getting warmer. It's about closing time. If it isn't urgent, why not come back tomorrow? Hmm? Oh, it's her. Are you looking for someplace else, girl? This is a forge, not a clinic. I'm looking for a place mentioned in a story. You're hurt too bad to be running around the city like this. I hate to say it, but the city is under high alert right now, and a girl with a knife wound is just showing up on my doorstep. I'll be... It'll be trouble for me if I don't take her to, into the authorities. Last thing I want is more trouble, so I better get her to explain where she came from. You, are you the one they call Meng Tai Yi? It means something that you know the name, young as you are, but I don't recognize you at all. Shifu told me th there is a forge hidden here in the nomadic city, and that the owner of the forge is a skilled swordsmith. He can make all kinds of weapons and armor, and also craft toys for the children of the city. I can't recall anyone who would talk about this old man like that. In the yard of the forge lies a pagoda tree, transplanted by the both of you from a faraway place. The old man can't help but look back. In the corner of the yard stands a pagoda tree, leaves swaying slightly against the evening wind. Spring comes late in the north, and new leaves have yet to grow on the branches. Oh! Oh, it's him, okay. The Grand Master! Now can we say that the battle is truly over? We've suffered a number of casualties, but for the next 20 years at least, these bandits will be cowed. I've heard tales from long ago of expeditions celebrating their triumphs by carving out their achievements on the furthest mountains they could see. Perhaps today we are worthy of that legacy. <laughs> Not a bad idea, but we have only sands around us and nothing solid to which to write. There's a lone tree here, so why not? Good. Let's go with that. Good? This wither tree is about to crumble into dust and you still want to torment it? Do you have an alternative then? What's the point of engraving your exploits on a fixed point when we live in a nomadic city that regularly travels thousands of li- Lee? Li? I don't know, that's a weird one. Why not m we make take this tree back and replant it in human? Our story will be remembered by the tree if it manages to take root in the city, even just for a day. Claps once. Very well. Not a bad idea at all. Did you get heat stroke from being out here too long? We're at least a hundred lead from human. Are you planning to carry the tree all the way back there? Why not? We carried so much food and water on the way here, and now it's all gone. So what's wrong with bringing an extra tree on our way back? General Zhao, Tai Yi, please lend me a hand. Careful not to damage the roots. You called her Shifu? Shifu saved mine and my family's lives out in the wilderness wilderness, and taught us how to live among the, the settled. What is your name? Jai Yun. If I'm not mistaken, you're an Anasa. Yet, you have such a refined name? Shifu gave it to me. No wonder. Yun. Dong. John Liu. Ah, uh, Jai. Okay. Jis I see Shan King, a classic poem. Jiayun. Oh, is that her name, Jiayun? Yeah. Okay. A classic poem. The cloud floats for a thousand lei until it finally settles upon a mountain top. She wished for you to find home, like the cloud. Shifu recited it better than you, but the meaning is the same. <laughs> I have no doubt. Come to think of it, she gave the Grand Master his name as well. That fickle-minded, heartless man. What's this then? Hold on. The sword you're carrying. You stole the Grand Master's sword? I will bring it to Shifu's grave as an offering. The wind whips up the leaves, rustling the old pagoda tree. The fire in the furnace has died down, and the sky grows dark. But the old man does not move. The girl can't see his expression clearly. She's dead? Yes, Shifu's illness was very serious. Her last wish was to look upon the sword one last time, so I must deliver it to her. Do you want it too? Uh, certainly not. Yumin is a very dangerous place to be right now. I know that with this sword on me, all the soldiers will be hunting for me. No. 
What I'm saying is the city will become even more dangerous in the near future. It's about to face a test, but before that, I should at least try to get you out. Your Shifu is waiting for you, and as are all of us. But how do you get out of the city? I didn't think about it when I came in. They sealed the gate, so I tried to force my way through and was injured in the process. The wind picks up. A handful of fine sand flies onto the old man's face and into the gap of time that has gone by. It is soft, moist from the twilight hours of early spring. The old man kneads the sand in his fingers. I have an idea. That's cool. Oh, back to him. Hey, welcome back. What's the word? No doctor or staff in the clinic. Just some princely looking official who asked me what I was doing. And what did you tell him? Just what you told me. Last night I hurried over with a family member in tow who suffered a concussion when a store, our store shelves collapsed but forgot to bring money for the bill so I came back today to make the payment. The nobleman left after asking me the question. I don't get it. Here's your money back since I never had to pay anyone. Just keep it. Take it as a reimbursement for your hard work. It's so strange. Is humans tourist season this lucrative? I've heard of Mr. Lee's of kill. Mr. Lee's kill. <laughs> I've heard of Mr. Lee's skill, but to even pull one over on the young like that? Just like that just that just any kid? He's a sui regulator candle holder. I wouldn't dare lie to him. Just helping him rule out a wrong answer. As for Mr. Lin, what are you doing here? Just out for a stroll. We were in Lungman Park right now, I believe it. And how are things coming along for you, Mr. Lee? It's a little strange. I haven't been able to figure out exactly what the job you've asked me to do, but the one I've been looking for might be able to clue me in. That's good to hear. You've tasked me with the job, but you still look uneasy. Why not take matters into your own hands? Any action I take would affect Wei Wen Yu, Yen Wu's reputation. I also want to just watch from the sidelines and see how she does things. <sighs> now that's the Mr. Lin I know. This is an important moment, but there's still ample time to make a probing F move. A beard well lathered is already half shaved. I have trust in you as well, Mr. Lee. Wei Yen Yu... Wei Yen Wu... Eventually, I'll say it correctly. Yen Wu has often lamented our decision for not to not stay with the LGD. Well, let's not talk about that. Wei Yen Wu doesn't let go of somebody. It's if he's decided they're useful to him. Speaking of which, are you still determined to have your girl Yusha take over your work? It's not for me to decide. If she wants to stay, Lungman will have a place for her. If she wants to leave, Lungman won't trouble her. I would like to. I'd like you to take care of her, no matter what path she takes, Mr. Lee. It's an honor to have your trust, Mr. Lin. If there's anything I can do to help out, I'll give it my all. Doze. Now then, time to stop bothering you and continue my stroll. Why oh, Pei? He's a father too? Did you see the city-wide notice issued by the patrol battalion on your way here? According to the Imperial Astronomical Bureau's <laughs> latest calculations, human needs to adjust course to avoid a catastrophe. Starting tomorrow at the hour of Shen, the city will begin to slow down. By around the hour of Yu, it will have to it will have dropped to its lowest speed and will pick up again once the course has corrected. Your chance lies within that time frame. But if the city slows down, won't the gates be even more closely guarded? Dear girl, did you take a good look around before you <laughs> entered this human? A desert spanning thousands of li, with only misfortune and the occasional traveler to meet, but a part of Yanis territory still. Yanis? It's weird to say the Yanis, I don't know. From the very beginning, human was designed as a military fortress to guard the north. Which is why the city has sand sluices and dams on the outer wall, unlike conventional nomadic cities. 
It is said that a Tumu Tianxi took inspiration from the water wheels in the Jiang... Oh no, Jiangnan waterways and fitted it onto this border city. The base of the city sinks into the sand, but the huge dams powered by arts are always running to disperse the sand and remove all forms of resistance. Thanks to these sand sluices, sand sluices, oh, I'm being called. Arknights just crashed. Why is I don't know. It's happened like 15 times. I wonder if Blue Stacks has an update or something. Okay. Thanks to these sand sluices. By the way, I had to look it up. It is sluices. Um. Thanks to the sand sluices, the city of Yumen is able to move flexibly across the vast desert and adapt to any situation. Like a river current, it moves with the tide. A spectacular sight to behold. Normally, the sand sluice would never serve as a path for people to walk on. If one jumps into the sand sluice, it can only expect to be crushed by the turbines or suffocate under the rolling yellow sand. So tomorrow at Hour of You, when Yumin is traveling at its lowest speed, the flow of sand through the sluices will also be slowed. But at least there's a ghost of a chance in this idea. I'll do it. I need to get out of the city by any means. But what about your wounds? I'll manage. I went to the clinic earlier. Good. It's just that security around the sand sluices is usually lax, but I'm not sure if things will change now that the city is under high alert. On my way here, I heard the general of the city of this city is personally leading the defense of the keep. It seems to me or not to me, that was the question, but it seems the answer is me. You're going out? We have to be quick. I need to go scout the surroundings. There are also some preparations to be made. If you're the, to leave the city via the sand sluices, I'll hang a close sign on the door <laughs> while I'm out. So make use of this time to recuperate. I'll come back to you. Daisuize. Yusha? <laughs> Yusha? Head up to your room first. I'll be there in a minute. Any news? Not long after you left, some people in Smith's clothes showed up, moved their goods, and headed someplace else. I tried to follow them, but they seemed to be in our line of work. They realized someone was tailing them and quickly shook me off their trail. I returned to the warehouse to take another look, and it had been cleaned out completely. I don't know what these people are hiding, but it's clear that something strange is going on. Your intuition was spot on. There's something off about that sword forge. I'm afraid what we've been... I'm afraid we've already set the enemy on alert, and we've yet to find our key of evidence. The dark clouds over the city are getting thicker every day, while the sand in the wind is also denser. The situation is urgent. Since we have our suspects, we can try something out. Something's out. Dai Suize. Go to the barracks and fetch something for me. That was it. Oh my god, I was at the end of it. And it crashed, and then I couldn't finish reading it because... Oh, that's that's great. What? Oh my god, it's the starting part again. Skip. How old trees grow. All right, all medicine has been prepared. I don't like that. Um, but it looks like the enemy can just go this way. So I'm gonna have to put archers up here to kill the enemies that are going through there. Okay. A new challenge. Oh, they can also go through there. Fuck. Okay. Feels bad to lose your target, doesn't it? Okay, let's uh place courier here. Hmm? And then let's place well Ansel. 
Nah. Let's place you there to heal both of them. I think here. So this is a battlefield. Let me create a diversion. Tail like a shooting star. That's what they say. Uh, I won't sleep on the job. I won't sleep on the job. Heaven will. How's that? Oh, you're gonna get fucked up, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucked up. Mm, let's place a Mia here. Got oh it. no, that's annoying. Let's pick up the pace! Fuck, I wasn't paying attention. Don't look at me! I'm fine. I forgot to place Dagon Wrecker. Everyone. I was gonna place her behind Flame Tail. Okay, whatever. I get an idea of their spawn patterns with that at least. <sighs> Lower rarity operators are easier to promote, in case you didn't know that. Do be careful, everyone. Uh, flame tail there. Can your eyes keep up? Courier here. Hmm? Feels bad to lose your target, Susie doesn't there. it? Bruce there. Mm -hmm, I'm listening. That's easy. So let's place her. So oh, this is a battlefield. There you go. Come I'll on, place let's pick up there. the pace. Let's place Degan Brecker there. How soon do you want them gone? Okay. Hey, hey. Okay. Tail oh, like Degen a shooting Brecker's star. Down. That's let's what they say. The Mia Got here, it. so she can be yes. healed. Now everyone's under the AoE healer's range. Dagenbrecker will tank for a Mia. Oh, never mind. I forgot to place a Mia and then Dagenbrecker first. Come Whatever, on, let's pick up the pace. Yes. Stay uh, calm, my friend. Okay. Go further. Place. And That's there. it. Ha! I hear so it's bad to lose your target, doesn't it? GG. Just like that, it's over. Uh, yep. Anyway, there was a good idea. What are you waiting for? Use your weapon. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Whatever. We're still chilling. Yeah. I'm feeling shooting. Come on, chill out. It's game over for you. Attack. Mission accomplished. There you go. If I needed tanks, I had tanks, but I didn't. Obviously, in the end. Oh, big bad guy? Ringleader. Okay, never mind. The deed is still not done? There was some serious kung fu on both sides, so we had no chance to strike. Leave that young candle holder to his own devices. We won't he won't affect our plans. But the woman with from Lungman has never accounted for, and she's still after us. What a pain. We'll keep an eye on things and make a move when the time is right. No, after these two clashes, the mer the mandarins are definitely be on alert. So we have to be more cautious. I could let the woman live for another two days, but our organization can no leave no clues. Right. Oh no, I skipped it. Right, then what do we do now? Now. Just wait. It won't be long before he gives us fresh orders. The Mount Seas and all in between shall be our masters. They've stolen the land without even knowing it. The people will pay for the further arrogance. Soon. And who might you be waiting for? Attempted assassination of a court official and disturbing the people's peace. Your conduct befouls the laws of Great Yawn. It's like that they'd be nothing to you. you. You have two options. Lay down your arms and come with me, or I bring you in. You are followed. It's the same man from before. He turned the tables on you. Considering his skill, it's no surprise you couldn't do anything about it. But in the end, it was still... 
you who led this band here. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Now we'll have to get rid of him first and then decide how to deal with you. You dare? You dare? <laughs> it shook the screen so violently. Duck. Uh, late as it is, you're still awake? Must be vigilant, lest something like yesterday's incident happen again. Surely the Grand Master was not invited me out so late to enjoy the scenery. It's auspicious for Lord Wei to stand here with us at such a crucial moment. Indeed, it would have been best to take a stroll through the city of Yumen and enjoy its scenery. The Lord Exorcist's decision... Lord Exorcist. Oh, the old guy. The Lord Exorcist's decision naturally comes after careful consideration. Perhaps this is not for not for me to say, but the Lord Exorcist's responsibilities reach far beyond the safety and security of human. The consequences of just one mishap are grave enough that just the word trust no longer carries much weight. Indeed, it is so. General Zhao and I, no Zhao, no, General Zhuo and I, have worked together for decades without relying on trust. I hope you understand. Have I ever expressed any dissatisfaction? Uh, speaking of which, we have yet to properly catch up on each other's affairs. Last time I came to Yumen was five years ago, and the time before that was ten, but both were hectic visits. In our last meeting, let me think, we were in the capital. Yes, the year you left the capital. I happened to be there to report on my work. I didn't expect you to remember something from so long ago. Do you not remember it, Lord Wei? I don't recall what year it was exactly, but my memory tells me... It was also spring then. Late spring. A little later than the current season. That's it. At the time, you still wielded a sword, and you were not yet called Wei. Why? Wei? There was... There was much scenery to enjoy, and plenty of kung fu spectacles, too. I have lived for so long, there are not many who would leave a true impression. But even now, as I evaluate the various styles of kung fu, I still think about Shi Zhao's ultimate move. I'm honored to win such a praise from the Grand Master of Kung Fu. That night seemed like it was set to rain, the weather stifling, the clouds looming low. I was on the keep and far away, but even then I saw a light in the direction of the post house. The sky abruptly broke with the chill of a sword, a sharp and decisive style of swordsmanship. As Sword of Stratus rent, once stood stut and fast. Afterwards, Lord Wei... Lord Wei must have left the city. In the end, the rain did not fall. It was a very long time ago, but I wonder why you're bringing this up. The tower stands high, the two men's clothes rustle in the breeze, even though it is a windless night. As far as the eye can see, human centuries and buildings stretch out without end. Only through the wind on the highest of points can one clearly perceive that the city is moving at a high speed. There is treachery in the court, and minds can be unpredictable. Surely no one understands this better than you. But I also believe that those that, that whose mind is consumed by ambition and cunning could never wield that style of swordsmanship. There is a matter that I would like you to help with. Oh, I dare not refuse the request of the Grand Master himself. I would ask you to trust Yumen just this once. You and the Lord Exorcist are alike, shouldering the peace of Yan. There... There are many matters of concern, but in the end, Yumin is unlike Lungmen. Yumin was built on strength, strength of arms, and most of the people here practice Kung Fu. These people have great passion, but lack strategic thinking. Yeah, I mean, if you only practice, you'll never get real-world experience. I mean, regardless, everyone here acts for the country and its people, and there is nothing wrong with hating evil as an enemy. I only fear that simple-minded people will be manipulated without their knowing. Generals don't... Well, I mean, smart people can be manipulated without knowing, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that's just how it is. General Zhou has agreed to a time limit of three days. Within these three days, you will get your answer. Until then, I hope you will set your grievances with the Lord Exorcist aside and stay your hand. The guest must comply with his host, and the Lord Exorcist has asked me to wait in these barracks at ease. I simply wish to share his burden, but there is all, there's really nothing I can do. I recall that Envoy Lin of Lungmen, from a few days past, is indeed shrewd and capable, solving several cases cleanly in just a few days' work. 
Imagine there must be several talents like her in your employ. You might be overthinking the situation. Whether the Grand Tutor, the Lord Exorcist, or Wei Yen Wu, every move is calculated for the safety of the people and prosperity of the country. There should be no conflict between us. But looking back over the few millennia, there have been those who shared a goal, but a number of them inevitably break and even turn against each other, yes? Indeed, you are most qualified to speak of this. Very well, for your sake, I will agree to your request. You have my thanks, Lord Wei. The knight is no longer young. I suggest you retire. Oh, but there's another thing. I think I have yet to mention. Cloud Splitting Sword is not actually Qi Zhao's ultimate move. <laughs> Oh, you just died. <laughs> Repressed gasping. Now, you still hold the option to surrender. Choose that option, or you will never stand again. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, anguish groaning. <laughs> right now, it is merely at your waist. Move again, and the dirt will bury you up to your shoulders. Three more and you lot of you lie in hiding in the alley on the left, and two more in the eaves on the right. Your actions were to draw out my weakness and create an opportunity for an ambush, but you will never get such a chance. I admit, I've underestimated your strength. It's rare for one to be proficient in both Kung Fu and Originium Arts. You are unworthy to comment on my Kung Fu. So I was just watching Kung Fu Panda the past few days with my girlfriend. And so seeing Kung Fu is so weird to me over and over and over and over because in Shifu because it's like Master Shifu, the red panda dude. <laughs> Yesterday, Envoy Lin of the LGD offended off an attack whilst run returning to the city and was followed today with errant intent. Earlier, the Sui Regulator Candleholder met with an assassin in the city at center. These acts were most probably all you're doing, correct? To intercept and kill a catastrophe messenger to steal a catastrophe data. Just what are the Shanghai Zong planning on the inhuman? What ex who exactly is behind you? You better check who's behind you first. What? No! Oh no, it's her. Thank you very much for saving my life. I'm sorry for all that. You shouldn't be wasting your time here. Lung the Night Woman investigated the warehouse at the Sword Forge. She's making a lot of trouble. If you're so worried about trouble, why not go directly to the only variable that can sway the whole situation? The old man at the Sword Swordforge. Go find him and let the catastrophe data disappear along with his body. Understood. Master, look out! Oh, he's not dead! Yeah! You shouldn't be able to stand. Rest. Go. The ground suddenly sinks beneath them as if charged with vitality. The raised earth and rocks surround everyone in an instant. Master, this man is not to be underestimated. A cold light flashes just for a moment. A man falls to the ground, earth and rock unmoving. The block is dead silent. Waste of time and boring beyond comprehension. Well, never mind, he's dead. <laughs> okay. Usha, what took you so long? I happened to meet an acquaintance, acquaintance, so I took the chance to say hello. You're a Lungmanite, and yet you seem to know plenty of people in human. Well, that's enough talking. Let's piece together the information we gathered and see if we can figure anything out. I didn't get to finish that conversation on the street. What progress have you made on your end? Miss Du, what kind of person owns the Sword Forge? You mean Uncle Meng? Yes. He's an old friend of my father's from when he was still in business in the business. His Kung Fu is renowned, but he's good at talking too. Every martial artist in Yumin trusts him. Not familiar with Yumin, so Jin Yu, Zing Yu logistics and being able to operate here is all thanks to him. Does this stuff have anything to do with Uncle Meng? Well, just wondering. If you have something to say, get to the point. I've had suspicions that this band of thieves causing chaos in the city stowed away with the supplies smuggled with from Lungman. I've been on the smuggler's trail, and it led me to the Sword Forge's warehouse. So, what did you find? The warehouse had only iron billets and forge fuel. 
All the materials you would need for a forge. What was strange was the warehouse guard. He had an unusual sunburn around his neck. Oh, shit, I accidentally hit auto mode. No! I need to go back. An unusual sunburn around his neck. Looked like a mark from wearing a special protective equipment. Oh, I skipped so much. Why is it still on auto? Stop! Ah! As I understand it, the catastrophe survey teams dispatched by the Imperial Astronomical Bureau trek through the desert for long periods of time, and they wear standardized masks for protection against wind and sun. That sunburn wasn't faded, and the Imperial Astronomical Bureau... Bureau... Sorry. I have the hiccups again. Has only dispatched that one team lately. So you're saying there's something suspicious about the team? And that they're connected to the Uncle Meng? To the Uncle Meng. I'm trying to get us on the same page with the facts I've found. Human has just returned from the depths of the desert, where the sunlight can be intense, and sunburns are common among the city residents. Is that one little thing all you've got to make you suspicious? You recognize this object? Boy, chicken. Where did you find this? The warehouse. I found it lying in a corner. It seemed unique, and was standing out from the piles of iron bullets and fuel. This is a Xingyu logistics armband that I designed myself. The red armband is inlaid with gold trim, as well as a Shangshu style embroidery of twin lines flowing through the, a pattern of five pointed stars, symbolizing auspicious and smooth trade routes. The signifiers of luck and peace are dyed a disturbing ochre red, and the stains of yellow sand make it look mottled and old. Only the kids who followed me to Yumin from Shangshu have this. Did the keys also? If what befell the messenger team happened outside Yumin, then this shouldn't have made it to the city at all. Are the keys still alive? If they are, then why are they hiding? No. Who's holding them and keeping them from showing themselves? Uncle Meng? But doesn't he have four men he knows on the team? What's going on? Miss Du, let's not jump to conclusions just yet. We need to calmly analyze the... If I can't figure it out, then I might as well stop thinking. I'll just send to the sword forge and get my answer head to the sword forge send miss do hmm they were killed and then their stashes or their sashes were taken either that or they really are a part of the group that's trying to get the Farron moods back in power yusha mm -hmm. i saw a tourist dressed like a lungmanite downstairs earlier probably one of your men he came to pass you something right that armband was evidence brought back from where the messenger team was intercepted and killed outside the city you're using miss do we have a lot of clues pointing us towards the sword forge right now so we need to probe it a little the man is innocent then we've ruled out a decent possibility and she will also feel at ease if there's really something up with the sword forge would you have put her in danger she's certainly not the only one in danger here in human you shut I know you have responsibilities, and maybe this is how you've always done things. I'm not about to argue with you over what's right or wrong, but I can't agree with your approach. I have to go help her. They're friends now. Lord Zhou. What happened? The tall forte lies in the hospital bed, his visage pale. Oh, it's the dude. He's barely still breathing. In Zhou memory, Tai He was as, always like a mountain. This mountain <coughs> stood beside his father and himself, unshakable. What sort of force could break this mountain? Zhou Lei has never seen, never considered such a possibility. Monitor sensor Tai He was brought to a military camp by two civilians not long ago. Tell me his condition. Medics say that they've managed to save his life, but perhaps only his life. Monitor Sensei Taihei has several multiple external injuries, but what's more serious is the damage to his organs. He has suffered massive internal bleeding. If he were an ordinary man, I'm afraid he would have already. Uncle Taihei shouldn't have been involved in this. He was helping me under the table. Where is father? The general is guarding the outer city tower. I've also notified the general. There were only four words for his reply. Stay at your post. Where are the ones who brought Uncle Taihei here? Um, he's not a civilian. Tell me the truth. Unless that's just, like, the common look. But, like, that seems so detailed for just a commoner. And they've used it so many times. 
We just saw the Forte dressed in Mandarin clothes lying by the roadside. We have no idea what happened, but we figured we should bring him over here. The city is under high alert right now. What were you doing out so late at night? We had trouble sleeping, so we went out for a walk. Who would have thought that there would be someone lying by the roadside as soon as we went out? Terrifying. So you live in the area, but heard nothing strange? Nothing. Where did you find the wounded? In the south of the city, near the Sword Forge's alley. In Sword Forge. Sorry, can I go home now? No. Your testimony is unclear, so as a witness, you can't leave just yet. Ah, uh, well, well <laughs> Millennium? Oh, that's what their soldiers are called, Millennium. Okay. Present. I'm moving out. Gather your team. Search the Sword Forge. Sir, the general's orders were to stick to our posts. Father ordered me to hunt down the assassin and locate the sword in three days to restore peace in Yuman. Even with his strength, Monitor Sensor Taihei has been gravely injured. This surely has some links to the Farinmut followers. Going to the scene of the crime to find the truth and arrest the culprit, is that not sticking to my post? Go. Yes, sir. They're falling right into a trap. Let's grab a nice dinner after we clean up the battlefield. My treat. Okay. <laughs> that sounds good. Food. Oh, it's getting intense. Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, that's crazy. The tall dude's still alive. I don't know why he's one of my favorite characters because he doesn't really have a big part in the story so far. Okay. Well, that was that, and this is this. Um, <laughs> that was the end of this episode. Uh, if you liked it, like and subscribe. I love having you guys around. Um, let me redo this. My OBS is acting weird, so I'm trying to find out what's going on. Okay. If you liked the video, like and subscribe. I love having you guys around. The series is still a lot of fun, and I'm enjoying this event a lot, too. Because it is... You're finding out more about the Farron Moots. Um, I'm really curious about the villain... I'm really curious about the villain. That's just, like, my whole thing. It's because they're trying to put the Faramuth back in power. And she is the leader of it all. So is she, like, Karagonder, where she is a Faramuth that got turned into a human? Or is she just someone that's really powerful that wants them back in power? Whatever. I don't know yet. This dude, for being the poster child of it all, hasn't really had much time um in the thing he's just been sitting around doing nothing it feels like that's it for me though so like i said if you like this video like and subscribe if you want to join the discord and give me your opinion on the event and the series in general go on ahead it'll be in the description the link for it will be in the description and if you want to support the channel and buy me a coffee go to my ko-fi that will also be linked in the description that's all i have to say though so you better have a good night and bye bye